This drainage ditch runs along the property line of Vernon Brown's waterfront Pocosin home. When it rains, health officials say it carries pollutants to the Pocosin River. Much of that pollution comes from septic systems that are no longer effective in treating the sewage generated by the people who live here. Well, all of Pocosin is low-lying, uh, but in that particular area is not, particular, is not very low. Uh, there was no indication when the houses were first put there that there would be a problem. The first signs of the problem showed up seven years ago when the city stopped approving subdivisions dependent on septic tanks. But the problem didn't go away. A survey of the surrounding watershed area found 43 sources of pollution to the Pocosin River. 25 of those sources were failing septic tank systems, which could endanger valuable oyster beds right out there. Although oystermen who work the grounds have their livelihoods at stake, most waterfront owners are just as concerned. There are a few people in the area who um, are not anxious to get sewage because if the sewer lines come down, they figure that all the vacant lots would be built on and then would be just like living in the city. One solution to the problem could cost taxpayers as much as $1.7 million to extend sewer lines. In Pocosin, Kathleen Bachman, The Daily News.